Paul, who is the lead game designer for Hearthstone Mercenaries, hopped on the stream to play a couple games, but he answered a bunch of questions. So this whole video is going to be him answering questions and just discussing the game from excess coins, more portraits, game balance, et cetera, et cetera. If you like this type of content and you want to see more like it, make sure you like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. And basically you could treat this as a podcast, but I just put some random games uh, for PVP to watch if you want to pay attention. Thanks for watching. You look fantastic. I'm a doctor. Uh, first of all, chat, if you guys do not know, this is Paul. He is the lead game designer for Hearthstone Mercenaries. Paul, you can introduce yourself or say whatever you want. I told chat to be on their best behavior, by the way. I mean, chat, your chat's pretty good in general, so uh, I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, hey everyone, um, I'm Paul, uh, one of the designers on the Mercenaries team. I've uh, been on the Hearthstone team for about seven, eight years now. Um, been at this for a while, so I'm excited just to hang out, uh, chill some games, maybe answer some questions. It's yeah, uh, here's a quick question for you, because Raven tweeted this. Um, we have uh, heard some information that there will be some buffs. Um, oh man. Yeah, I woke up this morning and I didn't know that article was going to go live. Or actually, I didn't even know Ben was going to mention it. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was going to tease at it today. Um, about like, oh, you hey, beat you to it. Like, yeah, yeah, but uh, I guess that, that cat's out of the bag. Uh, I guess the next question people are going to be like, when it's going to happen? Yeah, that's actually uh, where I was going to go. Uh, uh, what can I say about that? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess I can't say too much because that's the same patch we're going to make our announcement. Oh, um, announcement. Uh, for the next expansion set. Oh, so, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, so I, can, I can't really give a timeline there because I don't know what the kind of like the uh, schedule on that is. So I, I will say soon. I mean, I think that's obvious. Um, so everyone should prepare. All right, awesome, awesome. We're, yeah, yeah. We're, we're super excited because uh we saw the Tyrion stat so Tyrion stats look really strong with the uh... yeah what's funny with Tyrion is that we uh so we nerfed him right before launch right and that yeah. was his old stat line uh but we didn't change the other nerf which was uh blessing of kings at one cooldown it's still at two uh so we're, we're trying to take some incremental steps Right, so this is kind of like, you know, even all of the buffs that we had, we didn't get all of them in. Um, so we took like, hey, there might be like more coming, um, depending on how things go. Um, so yeah, we actually had like a bunch of like things we wanted to change and only like maybe half of them went in. But then we're like, hey, maybe this is the right approach because I think if we went all the way, um, we would have just warped the game too much. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll keep doing this and seeing where things uh, land, and then keep reevaluating for more buffs. Uh, yeah. to come. No, it sounds good, man. Yeah, we. Saw, I'm yeah. very excited to see what you guys are buffing. I, I. It's funny enough. I was actually probably releasing a video on the ones I want to see buffed. So, uh, okay. Um, yeah. I, I, yeah. Maybe I, I'll, I'll check that out. I'm actually oh, curious yeah. to see. Are you? Uh, yeah. Could you? I don't know if you can answer this question, but is it? Um, is it only stat buffs, or is it also just like ability buffs as well? uh there's the, the easiest things for us to change was number changes at the time uh because any kind of text changes were have to go through load you know have to get uh uh translated in a bunch of different languages um so that that's why a lot of them didn't come but yes there were some that we felt were high priority that we pushed to get it so there are things that got text box changes uh, oh things that got more functionality um yeah there's some things that i'm scared about there's Oh, oh, okay. Do you want like questions from chat? Like I'm trying to like. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll take questions. Okay. Uh, cause yeah. I'm trying to like pick them for based on the questions that you want to actually get asked and not just like. Uh, I think, uh, I think one of the things we're trying, at least on our team is to be, you know, open and transparent. And it's so like, um, I'm open to taking any questions. I, I think one of the things I will caveat is. You know, there, there's like, like for me, there's like four or five different types of people, right? Some people just want communication. They just want to be like, hey, you know, you know, does the team see this as a problem? And, you know, and, you know, and it's like, yeah, sometimes they're like, hey, we agree with you. It's a problem. We'll, we'll look into it, right? And then people are like, well, you always say you're looking into it. What are you going to do about it? Uh, and then when we say what we're going to do about it, they'll be like, well, when is it going to get done? Um, and, and then it's like, oh, cool. You know, we say, hey, this is what we're going to do. This is when we think it's going to happen. You know, there'll be people like, you know, when we when I announced the, the Karen thing, it leaves us feelings like, well, 
now I'm playing this like inferior version of the game. When is it going to be fixed? Right? It just like makes it feel even worse. Um, yeah, yeah. And then there are people who are like, hey, we'll tell you exactly when and what. Um, and then it'd be like, well, it's not fast enough. Why, what, you know, fix it sooner. Um, you know, so different people have different kind of expectations of what they uh, want from the game. And, and I'm not saying any of that is wrong. Um, but, you know, a lot of our kind of like responses is like, well, if we, if we tell like the community that, hey, we agree this is a problem and we'll look into it, does that really kind of like change anything? People are still going to be like, well, it still feels bad to play this aspect of the game. Um, and, you know, they just want the mode to be better. And, and we get that. Um, so, you know, I, I think a lot of that is kind of like caveat on how I answer some of these questions. Um, and I, I think the other major thing that I touch on with Discord is, you know, we're kind of a global game, right? And so like any kind of major changes, we like to go through official channels. We, we don't want to be like create a, a rift in the community where, you know, we're not engaging with like the Chinese or the APOC community and stuff like that. Um, so usually for major changes, you know, we go through more official channels. Um, but otherwise, I I'm open to answering questions and answering what I can. So okay, so have at it. I'll uh, I'll, I'll try to pick the ones that are like actually for the game, just to make it more, I guess, easier for you to answer questions. Because mm -hmm. so like I think it's okay. So like for an example, someone's asking, um, do you have any plans for or uh, like increasing the level from thirty? And I think you already said that you're gonna do it at some point. But is there any more like details you can give on that? Uh, no immediate plans. I, I think one of the things people might be expecting is timelines here. I, I don't think there's no immediate plans to kind of like uh, increase level caps. I think um, we're looking to other ways to kind of like expand, right? But I think one of the problems is um, whatever, if we ever try to do anything different with like the current set of mercenaries, I, I think one, it's going to be a lot of work. The more and more content we create, the more and more we have to go back in do additionals into right and whether that's going to be a good resources of everyone's time to be like oh you know imagine a world once we have like 100 mercenaries now and then we're like okay cool let's say we do something crazy like we increase level cap to 60 then then, then it's going to be like hey now we have to rebalance as a whole new game yeah, to that yeah. point on, right and so the more time it goes on the harder it is but i think there's a fun fantasy there so we'll always kind of be talking about that whether that makes sense um but no immediate plans to do that right now. I think there's a lot of other problems we want to address with the game. Um, so, and other features we want to add versus trying to like, um, you know, putting a spotlight on some of the older mercenaries. Uh, do we expect regular balance patches? Uh, I think this is, I don't expect regular balance patches. It was like, I don't think there was a high uh, drive to do a balance patch on this one um, as well. I don't think there was a necessity uh, per se, but I, I think we wanted to see more play from some mercenaries that weren't seeing play. Uh, you know, in, in terms of like, hey, how how does the game feel? How does the balance feels? We feel pretty good about it. You know, minus like Cam Diablo, where it's like, hey, they're like the the the, the general backline where everyone plays. Yep. Uh, there's value to that where there's expectations for people to kind of get a hold into mercenaries and have something where hey, the end game tends to look the same and everyone works towards the same end game. Uh, to get players on board into pvp um but yeah I, I think that's a thing that we'll probably do through more uh merc design in the future of like hey you know buffing characters that aren't seeing play and giving opportunities for them to shine but also you know designing more mercenaries that handle you know um more mercenaries that are better off the bench uh more mercenaries that you know handle speed control to be like hey um you know, I don't care if you go first, I get a big bonus if I go second or last uh, type of designs uh, to kind of do that. I, I think the hardest thing about mercenaries is trying to make sure that we don't design counters that are or that are like binary, that are all or nothing. Like usually we call it Feast or Famine internally. It's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. right. And, you know, Gruul is like near that spot of like, hey, Gruul is like, if you actually go Dragon Sense, Gruul, um, Gruul shuts it down pretty hard. Um, dealing with the 30 30 three speed rush uh every other turn is kind of a lot right and so like stuff like that is um scary to us right and that's always like hey you know you know these kind of like anti stuff like even kutris who's supposed to be like a demon thing like we don't want it to be like hey well if you play demons and then kutris uh, comes in uh then it's just the game's over so 
yeah, so we have to be careful about those type of designs, but in general, we're trying to push more towards that. So, yeah. Um, here, here's a question for you, because I was asking the chat last week when we, we were talking. Um, so I asked chat how many mercenaries they think is too much mercenaries uh, for like an yeah, expansion. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I know you were kind of looking into this. So could you go through like more of the insight on how many mercenaries you're thinking for releasing for an expansion? And then I guess you can get the gauge of what chat is thinking for you. So you get a better idea. Yeah. So we kind of talked a little bit about this in other places is, hey, we think one of the things we want to do different with mercenaries is have more regular content update. So, you know, instead of like, you know, kind of like you have like the mini set and the expansion where there's a big break in between, um, you know, we're looking to release new stuff uh, pretty much every patch. Um, right. And so usually those patches are scheduled right now to be like a month apart. Right. And so it's like, hey, so every month we should be expecting some new mercenaries. I think sometimes we'll, we'll miss, but that's that's the goal. Right. Um, to be like, hey, sometimes there might be something bigger in Hearthstone that we, we don't want to really uh, do anything for mercenaries where other other parts of the games need to shine. But the idea is like, hey, there will be more kind of smaller uh, drops of like content with, you know, new mercenaries, new bounties um, and stuff like that. And um, and then there'll be one more significant patch for mercenaries in, in between all the major patches. Right. And so there'll be like a hey, here's a new thing for mercenaries probably another feature type of thing um that that's the kind of like vision right now uh we'll see how it goes uh but that's the current plan and so yeah she expect everything something about every month or so uh, and we're, we're trying to understand like hey how, how much is too much or how much is too little uh in terms of like how many mercenaries should be coming at a time um because you know our first one came like two weeks after uh the initial set um a 50 something 51 right yeah uh, yeah 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 so uh here's a question for you that i think a lot of the chat would like to know and i don't know if you can answer this uh um, yeah where is valera where is valera uh what happened I, to her? Th I, I, I think i think if you actually kind of see where the narrative is heading you can kind of oh. pinpoint when valera is coming uh, oh so i i think yeah, so I, I think it's fair to say, I think we've even said this. Uh, it's hard for me to keep track of what we said or not. But yeah, Valera's coming. Uh, question of when? Uh, <laughs> I would say soonish. Nice, uh, okay. But, you know, I think if you kind of follow where their narrative is heading and if you can kind of narrative. piece that together, uh, you know, because one of the things we're going to do more in, in Mercenaries is kind of have like these kind of like campaign type of style. And so, you know, we haven't really finished the, the current campaign. Uh, so... If you can oh, okay. up, you see that coming in. I get what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, it was because I think a lot of people were expecting uh, her to be in the game at the start, right? And yeah. So it was kind of a lot of people always asking, like, where is she? Like, I don't understand. Like, she's in the game already. So it's very interesting. So cool. Like, it's cool to see that you guys are actually having like a narrative and a kind of like a campaign for this game. It's really interesting. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's actually pretty fun. We started talking about like what the next campaigns are and, and kind of working through that and what that kind of like small narrative is. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, it's pretty fun kind of talking about it and figure out who Ooh. that is and was this, who those mercenaries are. Uh, was this like a plan from the beginning of the game too? Like you guys knew you wanted to introduce Fulira through like a campaign sort of way? Or is this like... I, I mean, I, I mean, mercenary schedule changed a bit, right? And so yeah, that, yeah, that, was sure. a, that, that, that was a pivot point, which is like, hey, originally, you know, Valera was part of the, you know, the core 10... Uh, heroes of Hearthstone, and, and so it didn't make sense for that. But then as we started, like, working and the times to change it, and we were like, hey, we were playing around with the narrative, um, uh, it, it kind of be like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if... Um, and so, yeah, Valyra is coming a little later. Um, I, I don't actually know what the leaks of are Valyra and whether that skill set is still the same. Oh, um, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, so... We'll see. Okay. All right. All right. How that goes. So I'm going to ask a question because I think a lot of people are very curious on this. Uh, and this yeah, is probably yeah. the question I get most is the excess coins on characters. A lot of people yes. always ask me. So um, again, I don't know what you're allowed to answer, but I think mm -hmm. anything would probably be helpful for majority of people in this chat. Yeah, I think that is a thing that is going to come. Uh, I think the most we were comfortable with saying was in the blog post of like, what's next? Uh, I think so. If you go back there and kind of read yeah, yeah. there, I, I think a, a, as we were talking about like, hey, how much should we communicate? And I think one of the problems here is like, you know, we have a general idea of what we want to do, um, but 
when we play test and iterate, things could change. So it's one of those things like, hey, we can talk about like, hey, what we're, we're thinking about doing and then what if we like go a totally different direction, right? Um, and so this, this is one of the cases where we haven't got our hands on it yet and we haven't play tested yet and, and see how it feels. So it's hard to commit to saying what we exactly were doing other than, hey, this is a priority for us. This is what we want to fix uh, sooner rather than later. Um, and a lot of this is like, hey, you know, as soon as we have like locked down the, the, the grand vision of like what we want to do um, and how it might tie into other stuff, um, you know, that's when we'll, we'll talk about it. And I think this is one of the things I would push on our team to, as soon as we feel really solid about, hey, yeah, we're going to ship this, that will, you know, pre-announce this essentially. It's like, hey, this is what's coming for it. Because I, I think a lot of people are hungry for this information. Yeah. So this yeah. is one of the cases where as soon as we know what we're going to do, we're going to say what we're going to do. And we won't be able to answer the win because the win is always going to come way, way later, um, depending on how production goes. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So in other words, chat, just so you guys understand, they are working on something. There's just no definitive way of doing it yet. I guess is basically what you said. I just want to make sure I'm not saying what you said wrong. Like you're, it's a priority for you guys, but you're still working out the kinks and what you want to do. Yeah, we have we know what we want to do, but we have to like actually get that feature in the game and play test it, right? And so there, there's that part of the iteration process is like you know there's a lot of things where you can make a decision of like hey this is what we can do and do it and, and have high confidence in, and there are other things where it's just like well we don't know what this might feel like. So um, yo Matt, thanks for the sub, dude. I appreciate it a lot. And, thanks, and man. See what it feels like. All right, awesome, man. Thank you so much for answering that. I'm sure, I, I, I'm sure Chad is at least happy you gave some kind of answer. <laughs> yeah, it, I know it's, it's really hard. It's really yeah, hard yeah, in this yeah. position. I know, I know. My litmus test is like, whenever I answer things, like, is it really going to make any difference? Well, uh, so I think, yeah. I think for just someone who's been playing the game since closed beta, um, quite recently, the fact that a lot of the developers, like Alec being a really good representation for standard, um, yep. You guys just giving any information is just a sign that it is being worked on and the transparency is fantastic for people who are just curious mm -hmm. and like even for balance changes, right? Like you may not be able to tell us what balance changes are coming, but the fact you guys are actively trying to improve the metagame to maybe skewed away from Karen and Diablo is just good enough for a lot of people and it's something to look forward to. So I, I, I like guys, he can't answer any like a lot of stuff, right? Because obviously this is still like I, I think you're probably under like some kind of NDA or you have to be careful of what you're releasing. But anything is probably better than nothing, right? So yeah, I think I have actually quite a bit of leeway of like oh. what I do talk about. But you know, I I think it's one of the things where I don't want to add more uh, stress and work onto other team members of like, oh, Paul said this, and now we have to like pre-announce or change our announcement schedules and, and all this stuff, right? And, and so th there are proper channels that people work really hard to kind of line up like how we talk about things and, and put a lot of work into that. And, and so, you know, I have to be careful and respectful of their time because I don't want to make their lives harder. Yeah, um, absolutely. As well. um, so, yeah. Um, okay, so one other question that seems to be one of the more popping ones is for portraits. Um, yeah. now I know like in, I have it on the screen right now. Uh, or this might <laughs> okay, actually, yeah. So like, um, currently you say there's, we'll be adding more direct ways to require portraits. Um, is there any information you can potentially give us on that? Or is it just, you want to keep that in the dark, which is totally fair as well. Uh, I, I just know that we're talking about a couple of options about how we might want to do this. Um, so until we solidify on that i don't think there's too much for me to add on this yeah for sure for sure okay mm -hmm. awesome um well we can keep answering questions if you want do you want to play some games while we're doing it or yeah yeah, yeah. Let's the just... melee attacks in general are a bit underwhelming compared to oh yeah here i, I guess on, so that's a good question that we're thinking about here so let me ask you a question do you think protectors are weaker than the majority of the other characters other than like karen and Makla? I think I think casters are in general stronger, but I think a lot of it more has to do with like synergies. The casters were, were easy to design and synergize, right? You look at frost or fire or shadow, right? They they all feel like they were like magical, so they tend to be in caster classes. Uh, and so you know when you look at like which protectors and which um, fighters are strong, either they're really fast or have like this weird utility. But look at Malfurion, right? He's strong because of the nature synergy, right? And yeah, so yeah. It's it's part of that, but yeah, it's also the crackback damage. We're aware of that. Um, you know, there's some upside to doing physical attacks because you never get into stall states. Like, if you're a caster, you can never kill yourself off, right? Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. And, and yeah, but yeah, in general, I, I think they are underperforming towards the casters. Um, but I think that also it's probably more 
a symptom of not having the right fighters to deal with a lot of these caster comps. Um, and then once you see more fighters, you'll, you'll see more protectors. Um, so it's kind of cyclical. I think right now it's just like there's a lot of utility in a lot of the caster sets and a lot of hyper synergies. Uh, so they tend to just be on top, and there isn't a way to deal with them strongly other than, um, you know, Samaro uh, right now. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that changes as more mercenaries come out, um, whether that's just like, you know, uh, more fighters coming into the meta and taking down. So. Oh, okay, awesome. Um, quick little question here. Will, uh, in the client, will we be able to see what tasks we are with each mercenary at some point? Uh, yeah, that's something we are trying to also move. That's you know not as high priority of all the things we want to address. Uh, we'll probably end up you know putting them in as achievements, and that way you can just like see okay, them, yeah, like, yeah. like hey, right? It's like hey, cool. I'm 18 out of 18. I finished the achievement. Uh, to checking in there. We also are changing some of the UI flow. Uh, looking to change the UI, flow. I, I, I very try to be very aware of like what I am saying. Uh, sadly, uh, yeah, that you know one of the things we're gonna do is like hey, or we're looking to try to do is. Uh, when you finish a task that you can claim the task right away instead of having to go to the camp or um, so we're, we're oh, looking nice, to just okay. like popping up that UI for you to be like, hey, you finished this campaign task or you finish, you know, the kill 180 beast task uh, without having to go back and check. So, yeah. you know, when you're done with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Had asked how the team is managing work life balance in the post launch period. Is you're here super uh, early on Sunday? Yeah, you know, so a lot of people ended up taking vacations after we shipped, you know, after launch and like two weeks after launch, like, you know, I did as well. Um, so in general, you know, we don't really have that much of a crunch culture, so it's not too bad. But people did work pretty hard towards the tail end to make sure that we shipped. Uh, but yeah, everyone kind of got some of the breaks. Some of them are starting to come back. Um, and, you know, and we're trying to start working on new stuff and fixing some stuff that we want to fix. And yeah, it's been great. Okay. Uh, just going through this. Awesome. Uh, I think we already asked this. There's a way to spend extra coins on max mercs in high priority. We already asked that, right? Um, yep. Yeah, we already did that. Any plans to change the interface on the iPad during combat? Screen becomes so cluttered by floating cards displaying the abilities being played out. I don't personally know that at all, but imagine on my phone is pretty uh, fine. Yeah, th there's a few things, right? I think someone reached out to me about like, hey, it doesn't zoom in as much, and the big card uh, gets cut off. Um, I'm not sure if that's iPad or uh, mobile in, in specific. Uh, but yes, that's something our client engineers are working on to uh, oh, okay. make it a little better. Awesome, awesome. Uh, any possibility of speeding up animations and loading times? Uh, loading times is a much more technical under Yeah, yeah, you, that, you wouldn't uh, know that, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that that's something we wanted to do in general uh, to kind of like lower that down. So we'll keep on looking to see like whether we can do it and how long, how much effort that is, right? uh to do that animation time so we, there was a patch that was sped up animations in general uh, i think oh okay. not six right i i think if you look back at, like the launch like it was slow but then i think there was a more underlying system change across all of Hearthstone that sped that up um so that's not something that's really on my radar or something i'm pushing really hard on uh, right now okay um will there be rewards for completing certain things like heroic fully leveling all mercenaries Etc. Yeah, so that's something I'll say yes to that officially, uh, but that's also something we're looking into to add more incentives to do uh, higher end content. Okay. And th there's there's stuff we can do short term to kind of start pushing that direction, and then there's stuff that we want to do longer term, right? To be like, okay, so we want to make sure that whatever we do short term kind of like has alignment into what we are going to do, like you know, six months, eight months, a year from now. And, and that they all are narrative because we can do some short-term stuff, but then we'll have to revert it as we move into a more permanent solution uh, for incentivizing heroics and in-gear, uh, in-game content. Um, but yes. Um, just, just to make sure I get everything. Uh, will there be an easier way to get diamond portraits in the future? So that was addressed in the blog yeah, post yeah, as yeah. well with, yeah. with portraits. Very, uh, uh, here, I'll put it up on the screen again. I, I mean, it, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Not, uh, uh, nothing can be announced i'm guessing at the moment but that's the yes yeah direction we're going for i'm trying to make sure uh anything else who's your favorite mercenary uh my favorite is still probably tavish uh in terms of like design and and kind of like the core theme behind like what we try to do with mercenaries which is mind games at least in pvp right okay. he's like the quintessential like oh do i hit him or do i not uh, yeah yeah gameplay uh will we'll probably be tavish i mean i still love brightwing you know we nerfed brightwing because i played it too much 
Okay. Uh, but I still love right wing yeah, in, right in, right. in general. Uh, and I would say my third is definitely Blink Box. Okay. Wow. Uh, uh, Three special. Okay. So here's a, this is an interesting question. So a couple of days ago, someone brought this up to my stream. And mm -hmm. I don't think it intent. I don't think it works like this, but they're saying it does. Um, how do speed ties work? So ah. I'm I am guessing that it's literally just an RNG generator that just flips uh -huh. it. And if there, for instance, if there's two characters on the enemy side that have the same speed, uh, and you have one work at the same speed, so it's a two to one. Is there an advantage uh -huh. for the people that have two to two mercenaries versus the one, or no? Is that a lot? Uh, I'm curious. I'll, I'll pose this question. How do you think it should work? Which is the more fair? So, should, should should we give the advantage to the player who has more speed ties? I, or should we, or we should, you know, change it? So, you know, there's two different versions that where for sure. one version is, you know, like, let's say you have, let's say you're playing, you know, um, Nature Sam, right? Everything's at four speed. Right? Yeah. And I have, you know, just Malfurion on my side. Yeah. Um, you know, you know, should I, you know, are we flipping 50 50 each time or you know what what makes the most sense it's, what's the most fair? it's interesting i think the the problem with having it like a guaranteed win if you have two speed is that you just snowball out of control from the game um right. in a sense like if you if your opponent has two nature and i only have samaro on the same thing like i basically just auto lose from that position in a sense right. so is it, yeah so it could be very yeah. snowbally right um yep. where i think the just the 50 50 in general is like do i go for the 50 50 or do i try something else because yeah okay. one of them leads to a very poor experience if you lose it but like you could think back and say like i could have done this differently where it's like well i'm going to get into this position anyways if they have two of the same speed versus my one mm -hmm. so i guess you could also say you could play differently for that um it is a pro i don't know i'd have to really think on that because it, it would lead to a lot of pros and cons for both but i think that it would end up being a lot of situations where if you just go against nature you just ought to lose the game from that position yeah uh, i believe the way the system sh is working is that there's equal chance for my mafirin to be first second third or fourth okay so that's yeah that's what i thought i thought it was like if there's a 66 percent chance on the opponent's side and then a 33 percent chance on my side i still have the yeah. advantage going first even as the 33 yeah so that's um, that's so exactly yeah. the way i thought it so, was. so yeah so yeah so my mafia just has a, a chance to be in any of those four slots uh, at equal weighting yeah okay that's exactly okay uh just give me a second i gotta trash talk chat for a second one second hold on well <laughs> I, 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 I hate this whole community no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. when i confirmed one way or the other and it was like i told you so no the reason so that like, I, hey. the reason i brought that up is because people were telling me that it worked the the other way that i was thinking and i was like that wouldn't make any sense because like why would they do what, like because I, I i mean both ways make sense there's a lot of different ways to kind of go about it and it's just whether where we want to put the for the sure in. for sure yeah 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 and, and then and then like what's intuitive and it's it's very obvious that no one there's no consensus of what's intuitive yeah. Is, uh, Here, right, yeah here's a crazy idea we we thought about this like the first couple of weeks and i let's hear your thoughts on this each, yeah, yeah, yeah. each player in the game gets like a coin like a singular coin yeah priority system yeah, yeah. so then if you use that coin you get the guaranteed roll on the the 50 50 but if right. you, and then if do both players use the coin, then it goes back to what it used to be, the 50-50. But then there's more a little bit more agency because then you could be like, oh, I'll give him the 50-50 now. But then when it comes up again later, I have the advantage. Mm -hmm. So that, that, this, this... that was one idea that we came up with. So let's say in the situation where you're playing Shadow uh, or, or Nature uh, Sam, right? And I'm playing one, like, does the coin pass back and forth? No, that so single turn. I would imagine is it on a per turn basis, right? But if it's on a per turn basis, then it's weird because like, okay, let's say you have priority. So you win the first 50 50 now in the second speed tie of like your, your, I guess you would put Mal first and then, uh, and then you do Brucon. Does your Brucon get to go now because you have priority for the whole oh, turn? Oh, I see what you're or saying. It, right. Yeah. I would think I would. Okay. So that would be a different question. Um, yeah. I think that would be coming down to, uh, I don't know. I think the general base switch would be probably be better to win the speed priority because you use that coin. Because I would imagine you would get one per game. So like if you wanted to win, then <laughs> it'd be very interesting. But that's a really yeah. good question, right? Because I didn't even think that far ahead. I was just thinking like the first one would be guaranteed that you'd win. But yeah, yeah, multiple speed ties would be very interesting to have. But yeah. that coin... A, a lot of the systems we've talked about is like, hey, whether health is... Someone brought a cool idea up of like um, letting me base on like total weakness count. So if I have two blues and you have one red, uh, I should win the speed tie because I have blue advantage over red. Uh, that type of like oh. system. 
uh, you know, someone actually asked me earlier today, like, does it determine like who ends the turn first, who clicks it first? I was like, oh, well, if you took less time, <laughs> then you know, you you're faster, so you go faster. Yeah, um, a lot of stuff. Um, but I think the more important question is, should we address this? When does this become the biggest thing? And like, so I, my concern is like, whatever system we do, it just makes it more like if we change it into like the, the priority system that you, you kind of you're pitching, uh, then it's more like, well, you know, you'll map, you'll map up a matchup. You're like, well, whoever gets the priority wins or whoever doesn't get the priority wins. So right. Then it just becomes more obvious because of how the game gets mapped out in the flow chart of like, well, now everyone knows the outcome. Uh, right, if you go with that version, yeah. So it's yeah. even more front loaded. It's more, even more in your face because it t- tells you right at the beginning of the match how it's going to play yeah. out. Um, you know, so like whether any of the system actually solves the the frustration problem of the the, the RNG being really in your face about it. Um, yeah. I think that's a, a more important discussion to have before we even really talk For about sure. all the yeah. different possible pitches of solutions. I right? think um, like with more mercenaries added to the game too, I think it becomes less of a frustrating aspect because then there's yeah, way more and, lines. And, and, and that's where my thinking is. I, don't, I haven't talked to the rest of the design team about this in, in depth, but that's where my thinking is as we add more and more mercenaries. I think like the coin flips rears hit a lot when there are mirror matches. You know, like with the games we were playing today, Rare, like just me and you were, we're not, we weren't playing the same setups, right? Yeah, um, yeah. They, the, the the amount of times the the fifty fifties came up was much much less, right? But it, like, if everyone's running Karen Diablo in the back line, and, and now a lot of like um, four speeds um, stuff in in the starts, um, yeah, you're gonna see that more, and that's gonna be more impactful. But as we get more and more options, you'll see less and less of that. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, but, that's what um, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Makes sense. I would love to if if you guys do come up with something, I would love to. Uh, I'd love to see it. But I don't think it's yeah, yeah. At the I, I think I, we pitched a few ideas in. Um, in the Discord, uh, I mean, like, if ever it becomes a problem, we'll have a discussion. I think this is something that uh, is more driven by community than is by design. I think the, the players who feel this impact are the most engaged. So th- these are the times where it makes sense to start engaging in the community, get their feedback, and see where they go, right? Because, like, the other thing that I asked around in Discord was also like, hey, you know, what turn timer should we set, like, the final game thing? Because we were seeing a lot of Anduin mirrors, and the game was going to, like, you know, it's like a stall game and it's going to the end and it was just like hey this is one of the things where hey this affects most of the the highly pvp um players so you know i asked them it's like hey what should the turn limit be right and, and get community feedback and yeah yeah i will let you guys decide in a way um and, and coin flipping and how we handle that system it's probably also one of those things because it doesn't touch a lot of other players and so those are the things it's like okay cool yeah, yeah let me Let's see how everyone feels about it um okay uh, is there any chance to have a speed mode to avoid two minute turns and people seriously overthinking? Uh, what's the, what's the, what is the turn time right now? A minute and a half? Uh, it's less than 90 seconds. I think it's 75 seconds. Okay. So I, okay. We don't have to touch the turn time. It's definitely fine. Yeah. 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 Cause I think it's 90 seconds default in, in the other modes. And I think we shorten it in, in Mercs. Yeah. Um, to yeah. about 75. Uh, I, we, we try to go to 60, but that was a little too much. Um, yeah, I, it was, especially like as more characters get added to the game too, the more time is going to be probably necessary because you there's going to be a lot more interesting lines to take with every single mercenary added. So I think, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, hold on, I'm just trying to because you almost have to go. I'm trying to pick a good last question for you. Yeah, I guess a a, good, a really good question that this guy's asking is um, what about like a weekly quest? Like you have the uh, you have daily, the daily quest. Yeah. I think that is something in the things that we're talking about in terms of like, hey, having daily, weekly challenges uh, is on our radar. Okay, awesome. Uh, I'm just going to mm-hmm. speed around three questions to you before you leave. All right, cool. Thoughts on double coin weekends at special double events? Double coin. So like having event system with enhanced rewards. Yes. Something we've also for, discussed about. For like yes. Blizzard yearly anniversaries or like expansions or something. Um, yep. Uh, so Possible. Some, something discussed. That's that's awesome. Okay. Uh uh, I'm trying to look, look, look. Uh, oh, uh, what about like, uh, I guess the, there's a future of mercenaries coming from other games. Um, uh, other kind of inclusion. Yeah. Cross, uh, like from Blizzard uh, or anything like that, that we could look forward to. We're still very, very open to that. Nothing to. So I, I don't think, or... can you answer this question? Is Diablo currently the only one, uh, that was designed for an out of Blizzard or out of Hearthstone mercenary? 
I can't answer that because no, which way I answer that confirms or deny it. Okay, so fair enough. Fair enough. No comment. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Um, I think that would be. It. I think that's pretty. Man, much I, fe I felt my PR talk come up on yeah, that answer the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I can neither confirm or deny this. Okay. Uh, I have no comment on this. Yeah. All right, I'll I'll let you go, Paul. Thanks for hanging out, dude. This was awesome. Yeah, I really appreciate yeah, it. Super fun. It. You're always yeah. welcome to come. Just let me know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I'm an early bird, so like when I wake up in the morning, I, I usually tend to turn on your screen, your stream, because that's when you stream, and I usually check out for a bit before uh, yeah, I have my breakfast and get if you, work, so, yeah. if you ever want to hop on, dude, just let it let me know. Like you're always welcome. Yeah, you're always welcome. Yeah. Chat, everyone, right, say cool. thanks, Paul. He's fantastic, Paul. You can say whatever you want. Uh, go for uh, it. No, that nothing good other than you know, keep having fun. Keep like honestly, you know, keep giving feedback. Like uh, as long as I'm very a uh, huge proponent of everyone advocating for themselves. If you think this is what makes the game better for you, like say it, and I'll, I'll never be upset. I'll never be mad, even if I think like, hey, overall, maybe that's not the right direction for mercenaries. But like, if this is what you want from the mode, then speak up and hear because you know, eventually it builds momentum and it becomes a priority sometimes. So um, that's all. All right, awesome. Enjoy your breakfast cool. and uh, yeah. excited to see what's coming out this week, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah, get your grind on. All right, <laughs> All right see you, Paul. Thanks see for calling, you. dude. Bye. Yeah.